Okay, so in this video, we're going to take off the steering wheel on an 85 Chevy Caprice. Uh, it's dark here because I've already disconnected the negative uh, cable on the battery. Um, we're going to show you to take off the steering wheel. And um, the reason for this is we got to pull off the dashboard uh, and check troubleshoot for a bad fuel gauge or the sending unit. So we'll start with the steering wheel and the uh, two bolts behind here on each side we'll take off first to get this cover plate off. Okay, once once you get those two bolts out from the back this front cover plate comes off and you have to disconnect the wire here for the horn which we'll do that now. Okay, the next step here is to remove the snap ring which is this piece right here and to do that, we're going to use a pair of reverse pliers that uh, will force open when you squeeze. And there's the clip removed from the wheel. So the next step here is to remove the steering wheel nut. Um, this uh, car is a mixture of metric and standard units, so this is a 21 millimeter socket, fits okay. And we'll take that off. So when I just used the socket, I didn't have enough clearance around the wheel. So we got an extender here. So now we can pop this on and hopefully get it to come right off. Okay, so we have our steering wheel removal tool here, and we found the appropriate size bolts to fit in to the shafts here on either side of the center bolt. And we put the um, bolt adjuster here, and we've made sure that the bar is even so that these are threaded in exactly the same amount, and we're not putting any uneven tension on those uh, threads. Now we're going to take this center bolt here and screw it clockwise to remove the wheel. Okay, so with some socket wrench turning here, we were able to slowly remove the wheel and we pulled the horn cable through that hole there and now the wheel is off. I should mention to note the notch here. Hopefully you started with it directly up and also the same thing in here, there's a notch too to make sure they're lined up. Okay, so now we're gonna put the steering wheel back on and basically reverse the procedure here. I'm gonna feed the wire for the horn back through. And gently set this back in place. And again, make sure that the bars are lined up vertically. And you can see here Zoom in, that's, now both bars are lined up. Just gently set that in place and now we're gonna reverse the procedure and put on the nut. So we're gonna put the center nut here back on to the shaft and I'm just gonna hand tighten that before we start using the socket wrench. Now they give you some very specific torque settings in this uh, shop manual for the car and uh, for those of us who don't have an automatic tool to set for torque um, if you go back and look at the other video the when we took this off there's a number six here on the outside of the bolt and so before we took this off this number six was actually rotated about there and so when we get this tight as long as I know that we've got the six about where it was before we took off the wheel, we should be okay on the torque setting. If you tighten it too much, the wheel may rub. If it's too loose, that could be dangerous too. So we're just gonna tighten it up to about that point and then um, hopefully we'll be in good shape. So let's see what we got here. this down okay so now it's getting tight and we're gonna look for that six again I'm gonna bring it up 
back to here. So we got to go a little bit more. Pop that up. And that's about where it was before when we started. Give it a little more to bring this even across the top like it was. And now we're in good shape. Okay, so now we're going to put the retaining clip back on over the shaft here. And again, we use the reverse pliers, reversing pliers here to separate this, but just enough to fit it on the little groove here that it's designed to sit in. And so very carefully we're going to separate it as we hold it over in place here. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. And that was it. And now that is locked in place. And there's your retaining clip. Okay, last step, we're going to put the steering wheel shroud or cover back on. Of course, as we did before, we got to reverse this and connect the horn cable wire back to the clip here. And so we'll do that now. Once that snaps in place, okay, then we can gently lay the shroud in, and then we're going to reattach with the two screws again from the rear down here.